Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, I'm Jingyi In today's video, I finally got to talk about something that I am so 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 passionate about That is How to drink more water I know, since you clicked on this video, you agree with me Even though it's just such a little thing, drinking water, it's really not that easy First tip is this life change little thing Which is A little straw I noticed like when I drink water from like using a straw I drink more water and I drink more frequently so I thought about why for example when you're watching TV Netflix whatever you have a glass of water with you if you can just like hold it and like you have a straw you can watch your Netflix while drinking water super easily and I'll leave the straw here and just like sip on the water from time to time but if you don't have a straw and you have to do this holding up your cup and drink your water thing like let's admit that's a lot of action going on especially when you're watching something or in engaged in a conversation with someone definitely try get a straw for yourself and see like how easy it makes you drink the water and also like this glass straw i got i think it's like super pretty and super cute and when you know just that sound and this whole process of drinking water becomes like aesthetically pleasing sort of and my second tip relating to this is get yourself a cup or a mug or whatever container you want to drink your water in which you enjoy I don't care what that is but just something you really enjoy using for example mine I my current favorite is definitely this glass cup I have been using you definitely see it a lot in my videos because it's just it's so cute <laughs> and also it has this handle I don't know what's with this handle thing, I just I can't live without a cup without a handle. It just makes me feel so safe. Also, I drop things a lot. <laughs> if I pour pour your water in like a wine glass or a fancy cup or a cute mug, like it just it makes the like act activity a little bit fancier and more enjoyable. Better than drinking it from a plastic bottle. A third tip is if you're someone who never have been loving drinking water or even hate drinking water because I definitely know people in my life who whenever they talk about drinking water they're like oh, water and they drink a lot a lot of like sugar 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 -y, sugar sugar sugared drink I know if you're too used to drink those things every day water seems so 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 boring to you so my suggestion tip number three is find a way ease into this drinking water thing which is try sparkling water how am i gonna feed my brain when all you have is your fancy bubbly water well it'll have to do I don't know if you are a sparkling water person or not because I'm totally addicted to sparkling water it's just so refreshing and I love the fizzling fizzling feeling and you know what I'm talking about so I actually drink around 2 liters sparkling water a day I don't know if that's healthy or not but at this moment I'm indulging myself on that one if even sparkling water can't satisfy you and you think sparkling water is still boring because it doesn't taste like anything it's still just flavorless water um, you can try add things in your water to make it taste better try add some lime slice or lemon slice in your water one of my favorite is to add passion fruit in your water I know it can taste a little bit sour so sometimes I add some honey if I'm craving for something sweet also I noticed my roommate has this like 
really cool like sweet tea thing she brought from Sweden it's supposed to add that sweet flavor in your food or drink but it doesn't contain any sugar if you are concerned concerned about your sugar intake and you don't want to add honey maybe try this kind of substitute I don't know how you call this but yeah that's something you can think about so for example you can drink tea because different tea have different flavors like chai tea matcha tea uh, my favorite like lemongrass tea lavender tea so many teas so there are like thousands of flavors for you to choose and you're just adding flavor in your tea and you are still drinking water also i forgot to mention why i'm wearing my glasses because i really want people to take this topic very very seriously and take what i'm saying here very very seriously i hope i hope this is helping <laughs> yeah so yeah next tip is attach this drinking water activity to something you absolutely have to do every single day so my top suggestion is attach it to waking up and your three meals three meals through the day so drink a cup of water right after you wake up and getting up and drink a cup of water before your breakfast drink another cup of water before your lunch drink another cup of water before your dinner and that's like four cups of water already don't underestimate these four cups of water because some people even don't drink this amount of water a day some people even go through a day without any water like the only thing I want to see in your mouth is that water bottle. Now what did I tell you? Always be hydrated. Always be hydrated. Because you have to wake up every single day. You have to eat your meals. So by attaching drinking water to this and form sort of a habit, you will always make sure at least you have four cups of water every single day. And also it's like scientifically proven very healthy to have a glass of water right after you wake up because you have been sleeping and you are actually quite dehydrated from that long period of sleep time and it wakes you up wakes your body up and makes your mind feel very refreshed right away and as for the three cups of water before your three meals it also helps you to like feel full a little bit more quickly if you drink a glass of water before you eat your meal so it's kind of like also like a diet um, trick if you drink the water first you will probably eat less or you will feel full quite quickly so you don't overeat I, either way it's a nice thing to do and it makes sure it makes sure you drink water and also help you keep fit so why not Right. My next tip is uh, when you go out, always, always remember to bring a water bottle with you. I see so many people like go out or go to school without any water with them. I'm always the one like having like a huge bottle of water or even like a huge bottle of water. And whenever I drink my water, I always get laughed at and you know, since you're drinking so much water, you're always going to the toilet, so just be nice to the people who are always going to the toilet. They're just trying to have their life together, you know? You gotta get your shit together. I saw some people using a really cool water bottle that has like a timeline on the bottle. So like, it's like, uh, it says 8 a.m., 12 a.m., 2 p.m., 4 p.m., 8 p.m. So that means like by this time you have to drink so much, already had so much water. By this time you should have already had so much water and by the end of the day you should already finish this bottle of water. Even if you don't have that water bottle, like I don't, but you can probably use like a marker or something and just like design your own water bottle and remind you to drink the water throughout the day. My next tip is setting alarms for you to drink water. For me personally, I don't need this one anymore because 
like like I said, like my whole mind is going like, am I drinking enough water? Am I drinking enough water? Oh, I should drink some water. I should drink some water like throughout the day. But for those who haven't formed the habit of drinking a lot of water every day, I definitely recommend you set around like six or eight alarms throughout the day on your phone just for reminding you to drink water. So whenever your phone rings, you just drink water. Remember to drink water. Humans love to drink water. Next tip is a little bit nerdy, but I also think it really helped me so I'm gonna share with you guys anyway that is putting drinking water on your to-do list and whenever you drink you finished drinking your water you cross it off your to-do list that means you don't even have to only write once drinking water you can maybe write like drink water at 8 a.m. drink water uh, right after waking up drink water before your lunch drink water blah, 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 blah. and whenever you finished that task you just cross it off your to-do list I know it sounds super nerdy it's like you do you you drink your water you write whatever on your to-do list and I just want to say when you finish drink drinking your water and you cross it off your to-do list it offers you a sense of like um achievement a sense of proud a sense of relief so it's just such a nice little thing to do to help you feel you achieved something today you take care of yourself today you finished your tasks today even though it's simple things like drinking water and also like I said it's not simple you should be proud of yourself if you finished drinking your water another tip is to like um, to see the amount of water you drink clearly like I, I don't know how to describe this one like because this kind of like it's like a really personal thing I do that is I buy two bottles of water every day and my goal is by the end of the day I have to, I have to finish these two bottles so throughout the day whenever I see oh there's so much there's so much water left in the bottles I better hurry up so I'll tell myself yeah you better like hurry up and drink more water and make some tea with it or whatever so it's just like by the end of the day sometimes I'm not proud <laughs> But there are situations that I have to be like, okay, I have to sleep, but I haven't finished my water, so I'm gonna be like, oh, drink, 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 and it kills me. But yeah, that's a little bit extreme, but what I'm saying is just maybe try to put your goals super clearly that's exactly the amount of water you have to finish today, and you know you just go for it and like tack it throughout the day and by the end of the day you finish it and that's all another thing I have been trying to do is tr I have been making this uh, kind of detox water I mean this kind of water where you put some like fruit and some veggies in them and mix them together and leave them in the fridge or just like in room temperature overnight so like the veggies and the fruit soaked in the water and it adds the flavor and it looks so pretty but this is something new i have been trying and i definitely feel it's encouraging me to drink more water as well guys bear in mind that water drinking water is not the only way to get the water in your system you can also get water from eating fruit eating vegetables and you know in chinese cooking culture um, there's a lot of water involves in making a soup unlike in like uk the soup is usually quite like sticky stuff things like that but in china we make this kind of veggie soup it contains a lot of water and vegetables so maybe make that kind of soup where you can eat veggies and drink the soup that's also water and you're getting your sister that's all the tips i have for you guys today i hope these tips can help you and encourage you and remind you to drink more water because you guys know how passionate i am about this whole drinking water thing 
and leave a comment down below let me know how you feel about drinking water do you agree it is super important or how you feel when you drink enough water and how do you feel when you don't drink enough water if you have other interesting tips to help you drink more water definitely let me know in the comments and share with us and we are all together trying to have our life together thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and also i just noticed my youtube is almost reaching 2000 subscribers and i am so grateful i really appreciate you and i'll see you in the next video